In general, I think it's pretty fair to say that whether they're rich or poor, the French are a nation of food obsessives. And one of the biggest lessons I absorbed when I was over there was the central importance of great ingredients. I'm not the only one in my family who loves French food. Joining me in the kitchen today is my youngest daughter, Tilly, who adores it. Made with fantastic chicken, cooked using a classic but simple French technique, this is my ultimate home-cooked French dinner. First job, my chicken fricassee. Tilly, would you mind helping Daddy with the chicken fricassee, please? We're going to start off with browning all the chicken off nicely. Pan on. Get that nice and hot. What I want you to do for me first is to season the chicken with salt and pepper, please. Thank you. So that's on one side. Then we turn the chicken over. So we season it on the other side. Salt, good girl, and pepper. Nice. Now, this is much like a chicken stew. OK? What's that there? Mm, thyme. Thyme. Good girl. Nothing. What's that one there? That one's rosemary. That's right. Rosemary. And because this is quite a rustic French dish, we don't need to chop everything. So you get the garlic and you just bash it like that. Now smell. Mmm. Ooh. Right. So that's nice and hot. Put a tablespoon of olive oil in there, a couple of lugs. One, two, good girl. Put the chicken in. And you lay away. You got that nice and brown. I'm getting good at this. You are. Skin side down. So we got the colour on the skin. Now, I just want you to cut the mushrooms in half for Daddy, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, these are chestnut mushrooms. There are these? lots of different types of mushrooms, aren't there? There are lots and lots of different types of mushrooms. Which yeah. one's your favourite? One of my favourites is the Girol mushroom. I like mushrooms that are a bit bigger than this. And um, some dinners with Mum, we cut out the middle, put pesto and cheese in it, and then we bake them. Oh, oh. So I want you to sprinkle the pancetta over the chicken, please. Good girl. Nice. Can you put the mushrooms in. Not yet, because I'm going to get some colour on the chicken first. OK? And as that pancetta starts to cook down, it puts a really nice flavour on the chicken. Yeah. So we're sort of sauteing everything, OK? Right, garlic in, please. Good girl. Just throw them in. And I want you to sprinkle the mushrooms on top of that. Good girl. And then there's the rosemary. OK, yeah. you get your fingers like that and you pull it down. You take it all off. Hold it. Put it down. Good girl. So now you've got the nice little rosemary sprigs. I want you to do the same with the thyme. Now, the thyme flower is a little bit smaller. What different flavours do they give? So the thyme is a little bit sweeter, OK? And the rosemary, a little bit more savoury. Which ones do you like? I like them both, because they both give a nice flavour. Don't they? So, bay leaf in. I'd like you to put that rosemary okay. and thyme in there, please. Lovely. Sprinkle it over. Right. I'd like you to stand back now because we're going to flambe this. I do not want to get those little slippers caught on fire. What are their names? Rumpo and Judith. Judith. Nice. OK, great. Ready? Yeah. In with the brandy. And then just tilt the pan gently. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. How cool is, is that? magical. Beautiful. A bit like a cauldron. All the cognac has been Flambe, so there's no raw alcohol anywhere. So we've got a really nice, deep, rich flavour. I'm going to add my chicken stock. You know, Rumpel likes that. Not my slipper, Rumpel. Rumpel the dog. Ah, Rumpel the dog. Well, he likes chicken stock. Yes, when he's a good boy, he gets, um, he gets it in his, um, with his biscuit. It's gone in, like, wow, really quickly. Simmer and reduce the stock for around 10 minutes. Now, we're going to cook the most amazing potatoes. Soda potatoes are really simple to make and absolutely delicious. Start by slicing the potatoes into finger-width pieces. Then parboil them for five to six minutes. When you cook something like rosemary or thyme or mm -hmm. basil, does it slowly let off the flavour into the pot or...? Very much so. In a hot pan, add a tablespoon of goose fat and soda the potatoes until they turn golden. And add in shallots, garlic, rosemary and thyme. That goes in, over 
top. And that goose fat now is starting to fry the potatoes. You just leave that sat there. To complete my ultimate French dinner, my version of a classic, a glorious lavender creme caramel for dessert. The first job is the lavender sugar. You can buy this ready-made or simply add dried edible sprigs of lavender to castor sugar and store. You can also try this trick with vanilla pods and cinnamon to bring new subtle flavours to sweets and baking. For the creme caramel, melt plain caster sugar until it turns dark golden. Pour into ramekins, sprinkle with lavender flowers and cool. Now to make a simple custard. Gently heat whole milk in a pan until steaming. Meanwhile, whisk together egg, vanilla seeds and lavender sugar until golden and fluffy. Then gradually pour the hot milk into the mix, whisking continuously until the custard is smooth and creamy. To set, cook in a water bath or bain-marie. A good tip is to line a roasting tin with a cloth to stop the ramekins jiggling around. Pour your custard, then boiling water around the ramekins until halfway up the sides. Then cook in a preheated oven for around 30 minutes until set. Cool in the fridge. Then when you're ready to serve, dip the ramekins in hot water to loosen the creme caramel. Et voilà, lavender creme caramel. Look at that chicken now. So I'm just going to turn the gas right down and put the lid on, just like that. But leave a little bit. So it can let out some steam. So it can let out some steam, that's right. Now, what I'd like to do is to chop daddy some parsley. Crunch it up nicely, tuck your fingers in, and take your time. Mm. Now, my hands have got lots of different flavours. Now, you've got all those wonderful flavours. You could almost be French. Mm. Huh? Mathilda, sprinkle that on there. Good girl. Nice. Merci beaucoup. Um, nice. Now, potatoes. Oh, so a chicken. I can tell Jack's going to love this. Is he? Looks delish. Doesn't it? Smells delicious. Look at that. Mm. I could smell that even before you took the lid off. Let's go, my darling. Good job, by the way. Thank you. I can't wait for the others to try it. I hope they love it. This is my ultimate French dinner. Chicken fricassee with sensational herby sauté potatoes and lavender creme caramel. Meg, Jack, Mum, and That's Holly. Good. Oh, so nice. Doesn't it? Now, Daddy, who's the one that burnt the garlic? Matilda. <laughs> oh dear. How could you, Dad? <laughs> Tilly, trust you to find that. Jack, potatoes. Thought you'd like these ones. <laughs> oh no way. <laughs> You're on a roll. No way. Potatoes, I love burnt garlic. Excuse me. Bon appetit and look out for the burnt garlic. <laughs> it was supposed to be crispy. Thought you'd have known the difference between crispy and burnt. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I think your daughter might take after you. Thanks, Sue Chef. Cheers. Next time, my youngest Tilly proves all the kitchen training is starting to pay off. Would you like to be a chef when you grow up? Yeah. Really? Would you like to have your own restaurant one day? I like to have a bakery. As we cook my ultimate healthy food. And if you would say, done. <laughs>